Many times what I found, people that want to be in healthcare, they might not know what it's called. You'll hear the, the common professions. I want to be a physical therapist or you know, I want to be a dentist or a doctor, but they don't think about all the other careers that might be out there and that's the chance to come and explore. That's the exciting time about being at a university is that you can pick classes that meet the need of multiple multiple disciplines. I think a lot of our students are just very excited about what they're doing. There are lots of different opportunities for them to get involved in and that helps motivate them and keep them engaged and keep them interested. My internship was with the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe, their planning department, and I basically worked on water equality. Like I just worked with the E. coli samples and processing them and then getting the results to different people. The goal of this study was again to um, down the road, develop potential therapeutic strategies to aid in that balance response and overall reduce pain, especially in these chronic low back pain patients. So um, that, that study was a lot of fun. Um, and I really enjoyed that study specifically because um, it gave me the chance to work with um, hands-on with patients in my undergrad, which has been a huge, huge opportunity and a huge uh, learning experience too. So it's, it's been great. So as a graduate student at CMU, I was able to present at a local public health conference on my project on pregnancy-induced hypertension and low birth weight. And then I was also able to present in Madrid, Spain on my, on my project about birth weight discordance and longitudinal outcomes. When twins are born, what their difference in birth weight is, how we can predict what their outcomes are going to be, and how we can intervene earlier or screen earlier for those outcomes. The undergraduate programs in our college are all designed to uh, give individuals the opportunity to work in the field before they actually get hired for, for their occupations, for their jobs. Our programs are designed so that we have input from people working in the fields so that the curriculum actually matches what the outside world is actually needing. I, you know, they prepared me above and beyond um, to what I need to, to be able to do um, as I enter grad school. Um, and that really goes back to the faculty, I think. The faculty here uh, have, a, have a wide variety of background. Most of us came from the industry. The good news about that is we have a lot of connections within the industry. We also have seen, we, we've, we've sent a lot of graduates from CMU out into the workplace and we use those connections to provide opportunities for our, our students as well. Central Michigan University's Sport Management Curriculum is the only Collegiate Sport Management Association certified program in the state of Michigan among all the higher education institutions. We're quite proud of that. We're very fortunate. We have a beautiful clinic here on campus that allows students to engage with lots of different observation opportunities of both speech language pathology sessions and audiology sessions. And we also have opportunities for them to have some hands-on experiences where they might have clients of their own at the undergraduate level, which is pretty rare. And also at the graduate level, they're very heavily involved. And nowadays you have to have that that little something special to separate you from the other people from the other universities and that experience is really something else. 